Hey guys, so for the longest time, <clears throat> you guys probably know this, one of my websites, sellbeatsnow.com, which is my website which teaches producers how to sell their beats, uh, it was number one on Google for a very, very long time. And what happened is it was basically on the top three of Google for maybe two years straight. And um, I was gathering traffic from my, uh, to my email list the whole time. And I was constantly focusing on that list building with the search engine traffic. I was getting at least 10% opt-in rate, if not higher, for the entire two years. And what ended up happening is one day it, uh, it fell out of the charts. And I'll tell you why. It, it fell out of the charts because I was using article uh, backlinking as my main form of backlinking was article links. And when the Penguin update came in, it knocked out a bunch of those articles because any article site that basically accepted the article automatically without having some sort of confirmation from uh, you know a person it automatically knocked me out of the charts and by doing so um, you know I flew down enormously and entirely and that's just the way it happened um, so I was back on like the the number 10 spot and now I'm like on the second page somewhere um, but that's the penguin for you the penguin will kill you if it can and um, the reason I bring this up, it seems like a negative point or whatever, but the reason I bring this up is because what ended up happening was I learned so much about my website whenever that happened. Um, first of all, whenever I fell out, I thought it was like doomsday, right? I was like, wow, I'm out of the search engines. I, you know, that's my main source of traffic at the time for that site. So I was thinking to myself, well, how, you know, how is this going to affect me? Am I going to be broke and everything like that? And I started thinking that I was going to be broke. Then I realized that the majority of my traffic doesn't even come from search engines anymore. The majority of my traffic comes from the people on my mailing list who I've been emailing for years now. So what I found was a lot of my sales and a lot of my money came from uh, people who had joined my mailing list before. And the new leads I was getting weren't even coming from the search engines a lot of the time. They were coming from, uh, you know, people promoting my stuff. So people will share my stuff. It's all over the Internet. The selfiesnow.com has been around for so long that now there are websites out there promoting me and whenever people come to my site they share with their friends and their friends come and buy and so the new leads are coming from old traffic which came from you know newer leads so and this is very interesting so as you go ahead and build your mailing list and you keep sending emails to your mailing list with new updates and stuff and they become more fans of you more and more traffic builds onto your site so you go from 10 visitors a day to 20 to 30 and soon you're at 70 and 80 and even though i fell out of the search engines i was still at the same spot i only really lost about 20 percent of my total traffic at that point because i was getting so much traffic from my um email list and also the old traffic that i kept coming back using facebook and you know uh, my email list and everything like that that traffic was buying more and so the same thing happened uh, and this actually happened again. This is funny. I actually, um, you probably noticed my website, BeatsForLegends.com, was in the top five for the keyword buy beats and many others just a few days ago. Um, and th what ended up, uh, this is the second time this has happened. The Penguin update, I'm still testing and figuring out things. I was in the top five maybe six months ago. Um, then they came out with the Panda update and it knocked off uh, my website um, after doing some backlinking. So it fell out of the charts and then I got it back up into the charts easily. The site, I fixed the problem on my site and it went all the way back up to the top five like nothing had happened. I was getting traffic again. But when I fell, you know, so this is the second time I fell out and I'm going to fix it again this week and it'll get back up to the top five using the same strategy I used last time to fix it. But it's just interesting. Penguin and Panda, they, you know, it takes testing now. So, you know, I'm still learning and everything, but I've learned a lot. But one thing that I found is that when I lost the traffic from search engines for my beats selling site, I ended up getting more sales and all I did was change the order of my beats. I put the, the top 10 beats in my flash store were all the top selling beats, the absolute top selling beats um, of my flash store. So it's pretty crazy that just by doing that, I ended up making way, way more sales, about three or four times as many sales that month as I did the month before. Even though I lost my search engine rankings, I got three or four times more sales that month because I changed the order of the beats and the people who had kept coming to my site through my mailing list, they were buying. So all my real fans were buying and my traffic was hardly affected at all. So it's really cool and I think if you keep building onto your mailing list, that's the only thing you need to do in order to continue getting sales for the rest of your life.